Hi everybody, Patrick here from EngineeringShot.com, ElectronicLessons.com, and PaintballProps.com. Uh, today I'm going to talk about the my new Kickstarter campaign. This is uh, this is the RFID 123 RFID reader, Arduino compatible, two onboard optional relays, very easy to use. It uses nine volts at one amp to power it. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to give you a quick demonstration. So I'm going to show you just how easy it is to use this. This is the RFID antenna, processor, two relays, relay outputs buzzer, optional relay um, enable, your program and, and uh, scan select area, and your outputs. Your outputs have a 5 volt, 5 volt regulator output, a ground, and that outputs 0 to 6 and the indicator output. The indicator uh, output is this LED right here. Now all of these LEDs right here are LEDs 1 through 6 that correspond to the cards you program. Uh, this little jumper right here uh, allows for you to enable or disable the LEDs. We're going to leave it on for this demonstration. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take 7 125 kilohertz RFID cards and I'm going to program them some sequentially. There will be one left over because I can only program in 6 cards and that will be our incorrect our incorrect uh, card, just as an example. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take a little jumper, connect the PRG header, and I'm going to leave all other jumpers except for the LED enable jumper connected. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to power it up. Now these are different makes of 125 kHz RFID cards, I might, I might add. So let's just do this. One. So LED one turns on, saying it's been programmed. Two. Three, four, five, and six. And once you've entered in the six, the blue LED will stay on saying, okay, disconnect the system. So to disconnect power. So I've disconnected power. I've taken my, I'm taking the program uh, short off. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to lock the code in place by placing two jumpers on the lock headers on the right. So there's two headers on the right labeled lock. So now it's locked into place. So now I've got one uh, jumper on LED enabled and two jumpers on the lock headers. I'm going to power it back up. Those cards are saved into EEPROM memory, so this is the incorrect card. What happens? So when you get an incorrect card, the indicator turns on and the buzzer beeps three times. And so now let's just go through the cards sequentially. Card one. Card two. Card three, card four, card five, and card six, and all of the outputs uh, correspond to the logic on the LED. So output one through six are all high, five volts. So that's where you connect to your Arduino. So if I want to reset all outputs to zero state, I just press the cell button on the board, and again I can go through. I can toggle it on. I can toggle it off. I can toggle it on. I can toggle it off. And it's actually got a fairly good reach of about three to four centimeters. And I can put a, a plastic casing over top of the uh, over top of the uh, antenna, and it will still read it perfectly fine. So what happens if I power it off and place a jumper on the set header? So right right now we, you just witnessed latching mode. So let's try momentary mode. In momentary mode, if the reader detects a card that's programmed into e uh, EEPROM memory, in this case card 1, card 1 will go high for roughly half a second. So the output will go from 0 to 5 volts for half a second. So I'll just scroll scan through them. Card 2, card 3, card 4, card 5, and card 6. So if I want to use the relays, what I have to do is I take relays you typically use only in, mo in uh, latching mode, but if I want to use relays to and relay one. I put little jumpers on those two headers labeled um, R1 and R2. And if I use cards five and six, 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 you can hear the relays clicking on. So what if I disconnect power, remove the set jumper, power back on, relay five or relay one is on. Relay 2 is on. So again, output 5 corresponds to relay 1. Output 6 corresponds to relay 2. I can turn them both off. I can turn them both on. 
and I can just turn them both off by clearing the outputs using the cell button. That easy. Now in the Kickstarter demo video, uh, what I do is I hook up uh, an AC lamp to one of the relays, because a relay is just a high powered switch. I also connect uh, a, a DC solenoid to, the, uh, to one of the outputs and control it with 12 volts DC. I hook up one of these solenoids to it. So you can do a whole lot with this. In the other demo video, uh, we actually hooked this up to an Arduino and I've written a basic code that tells the computer, talks to the computer, and tells it to tell you which card has been detected and you can build on that. Now during the Kickstarter, uh, at the end of the Kickstarter, in the manual, that code will, and any other code that I write will be included. The schematic will be included. Uh, a written document as to every single f how every single function works will be included, etc., etc. Uh, I hope you check out the Kickstarter. It's linked below. Thanks for watching, everyone. Have a great day.